back in October of 2021, I jumped on the hype train and bought the Beta FPV Cetus Pro. It was billed as the best entry level FPV drone, a way to get into FPV. And the reason I wanted to get into FPV is not because I think I can race, because I don't think I can do that kind of maneuverability. One of the biggest skills to have right now is not just being a drone pilot, but being an FPV cinematic drone pilot. And so I wanted to learn that. And my favorite YouTuber, Peter Lindgren, has actually been working on learning FPV and he's been sharing a lot of videos and a lot of posts about it. And his method made me realize that I went about it all wrong back in 2021. I bought the drone kind of like I did with my Mini 2 and I thought I could just go gung-ho, jump in and do it right away. But that's not how it goes sometimes. If you think about it with driving, with pilots and real actual planes and things like that, there's a lot of practice. There's a lot of trial and error in a safe simulated space. And so I have decided that I want to try and utilize the Peter Lindgren Cinematic FPV learning module. Um, I just coined that term right there. So Peter, you're welcome for that. So what I thought would be the best way to go is to find out what simulator he used and he uses liftoff and I have that flight simulator on my laptop here. But I also purchased a DJI FPV controller. I figured it was smart to go with just the controller right now. And then we can purchase either an Avata or a DJI FPV drone. Peter says that he, on average, he spends no less than 30 minutes, but usually about an hour a day in the simulator learning how to fly. And it's really helped us. So I'm going to commit now to 30 minutes a day, maybe even an hour if I can carve it out because I'm thinking I can do 30 minutes at lunch um, and then 30 minutes in the evenings uh, and just try and try and try. And all I've done is I've signed up for a uh, stream and I've downloaded Liftoff. I haven't actually used them yet. So I'm gonna go through the whole setup of it, learning how to set up my controller in there, uh, connecting through a USB-C uh, cord, and we're just gonna see how it goes. So what I was trying to do was, I was trying to use a, a USB-C to USB-C, and it's a Canon cord, and for whatever reason, my laptop didn't like it, whether it was the laptop or uh, liftoff, I think it was my laptop. But anyways, so what I was able to do was get a C to A, and now <clears throat> when I go on, and then we're gonna plug in, you can kind of hear, uh, you can hear that little chime where it says that it recognizes a new device. But anyways, we're gonna go in here and now we'll go to options and controllers, hit controller. You can kind of hear the music a little bit maybe. And now see how it says HID interface is the drone reacting properly. So let's go ahead and calibrate this. And I'm gonna turn this audio way down. All right, and so it's, says it's done so we're going to go with that and it'll save that calibration and so now we're, we're in a lot better place so hit save exit has something to do with the fact that it's I wonder if it has something to do with the fact that I see people all the time take their controllers and jailbreak them so to speak to where <clears throat> they can kind of oh okay there we go whoa 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 Yeah, it's pretty easy. Yeah, okay, we'll say that. I'm just going to right stick, control, pitch, and roll. So it's been a few days since I last gave this a try, and I didn't intend for that to happen. I had some other projects, one really big project still ongoing, uh, that has gotten in the way. 
but I didn't want to end this video on complete failure. One thing that I've always noticed with FPV pilots, the especially the experienced ones, is they have amazing stick control. They're able to sit there and they're able to hold them. And one thing that they all share is that their controller doesn't do this. Their controller can go all the way down, all the way up. And so I did a little research, uh, looked through the good old YouTube, and I found that on the back here, you can actually lift this panel. And if you look right there, you can see that it is intended to be lifted. So we're gonna do that right now. And you can use just your fingernail. Um, one guy said maybe a flathead screwdriver if you really get in a pinch. Come on, there it goes. So you see it is intended for you to be able to do that. And there are two little screws, one there and one here. And what you do, they're labeled F1, F2, and you apparently tighten them to get the different um, bounce back or less bounce that you want. And so I believe I'm going to go with F1. I think it's F1 to where when I put this all the way down, I want it to stay down. And when I put it all the way up, I want it to stay up. That way, when I'm in the simulator, when I'm using the FPV drone, I'm able to better control how much throttle I give because that's what this is. It's the throttle, whereas I'm used to thinking of this as um, my altitude. Now it locks, it locks, it locks. Okay. Well, put the buttoner back up and see what we can do. Okay. All right. Now I give it a try. So this is obviously not that easy, definitely not easy compared to flying the Mini or the Mavic 2 or the Phantom or anything like that. Definitely gonna need to start getting better about dedicating 30 minutes or so a day, whether it's during my lunch, during my lunch and maybe even in the evening, um, just something to try and get better at this, to learn. Um, I don't expect myself to ever become an FPV drone racing pilot, but again, I just wanna be able to expand my abilities to be able to get some FPV footage for cinematic purposes. So I'm gonna keep working on this and hopefully in a couple weeks, maybe even a couple months at this rate, um, I'll have an update for y'all to be able to tell you that I'm hopefully getting at least a little better, maybe able to finally go get an FPV drone and put it up in the air and see how it does. Um, but thanks for watching. If you have any tips, uh, maybe if you're an FPV pilot, if you have any tips, uh, feel free to drop those down in the comments. I will greatly appreciate and gladly accept any kind of tips, tricks, uh, anything to be able to do this a little bit better. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. I don't want that just yet. I want to. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, that was a little unexpected. Dive on it. 